Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have a great article from Eli Blumenthal over at CNET. I will leave it in the description down below so you guys could check it out. A bit of a different take from Eli. So make sure you guys check it out. So what I wanted to talk about in this video, and I and I figured it Verizon making this test drive move is going to spark the debate as to why are they even doing it? Right? What benefit at this point in time at this stage is this move going to bring Verizon so you know like I said in the video this morning a lot of people are going to come in they're going to say well Verizon is claiming the biggest network they're claiming the most premium network why are they now all of a sudden moving to a test drive that they could have offered months ago they could have offered this a year ago Right. But now, you know, maybe the timing was right. Maybe they just decided, hey, we just need to offer it just to just to say we have it. But if you guys saw the official article, the press release from Verizon, they even said it themselves at the very bottom. It, they, they pretty much told on themselves that this move may be counterproductive because other carriers phones are locked. So if you have an iPhone on T-Mobile or AT&T, and even if you wanted to try this test drive, you couldn't because your phone is carrier locked. You have to somehow get them to unlock it. For T-Mobile, you have to the, the phone has to be paid off. You have to show you have to show proof that it's paid off. And then you still probably have to get in touch with the right department. You probably still have to wait probably 24 to 48 hours for that to be unlocked. And something very similar has to happen with AT&T for them to unlock it. The reason this move for T-Mobile is more productive is because Verizon's phones, after like 60 days, they automatically are carrier unlocked. So if you have an iPhone 14 Pro Max today on 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 um or a 13 Pro Max on Verizon, for example, or even a 12, if you've had it longer than 60 days, you can test drive T-Mobile's network because the phone is automatically unlocked. The same doesn't happen with AT&T and T-Mobile. So from that perspective, I mean, it's, it's really going to spark the debate amongst the analysts, amongst the industry insiders. Why did Verizon even do this? What benefit is it really going to bring to them? And of course, there's going to be a small percentage, and, and, and Eli pointed that out as well, if you do have an unlocked eSIM compatible phone, and some of you will. Some of you will have that. Some of you don't purchase carrier phones. Some of you go straight to the OEM where the device is automatically unlocked. But there is still a large percentage of consumers that buy carrier locked phones. So to, to that customer, this test drive brings absolutely no value and it brings nothing to Verizon because they can't test it even if they wanted it to. So that's what I wanted to make this video on this afternoon, kind of talking about why Verizon did this. Was this really necessary? You know, for T-Mobile, it, it was necessary. They had a huge perception issue. And that perception issue goes back to the early LTE days. There were a lot of people out there that, that just by perception said T-Mobile's network sucks. It doesn't work here. And as they grew the network, as it got larger, as it got better, they needed to get people into these test drives to change the perception. Verizon already has the better perception. They are already labeled the network America relies on. They are already by many third-party publications considered the largest network in the United States. So why now? Why did they do it? What changed so drastically on perhaps numbers or with the Verizon team internally that they now had to offer this test drive for 30 days? What changed in terms of their views to have to offer this right now? Why? Right? And that's, gonna, and that's why I made this video, because it's going to spark that debate. Why 
are they doing this? So leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.